Take 9001, action! <sighs> New Year's Eve, eh? Yeah, I get it. This is where I'm supposed to reflect on the past year, right? Sure. Oh, why not? Let's do that. 2009 was a really eventful year for Yu-Gi-Oh. That goes without saying. And I hardly even know where to begin. I suppose I should start with the whole thing where Konami kicked out Upper Deck Entertainment as the distributor for the game. That happened near the end of 2008, actually, but we're still feeling the effects of it even as I speak. When Upper Deck got kicked out, we lost pretty much everything. Organized play completely disappeared, the website changed, and with that change, we lost all the official English rulings, at least from the most credible source on the web. A couple of products got delayed. The TCG was waiting for Crimson Crisis for a long time. Metagame.com Such a wonderful site. Metagame stopped covering Yu-Gi-Oh! being an upper deck site and everything. And I remember people freaking out about the whole Konami takeover. Screaming about how it was going to be the end of the game and everything. <laughs> no, I, I never saw it that way. I just kept on playing and enjoying the game I love. And I still do, and I'm glad I do. Because things have only taken a turn for the better. At least in terms of products, ever since Konami took total control. In terms of the whole organized play thing... We're still on the reboot. We're okay here in the United States. Other areas of the world aren't so fortunate. Europe and Latin America, for example, don't really have any premier level events lined up just yet. But y you really can't blame Konami because going into this whole thing, they had very little experience in terms of organized play because the OCG has next to none. And they also had very little in the way of resources to allocate to getting organized play back in action. All the business aspects aside though, let's go over what actually happened in terms of gameplay during the past year. The era of thousand dollar decks came to a crashing end in March when the ban list totally slaughtered Teleport Dark Armed Dragon, killing all of its key components. Reinforcement of the army to one, Emergency Teleport to one, Dark Armed Dragon to one, Destiny Hero Malicious to two, Destiny Draw to two, Allure of Darkness to two. And that needed to happen, too. Teleport Dark Armed Dragon was tier zero. Nothing could beat it other than itself or a really, really dedicated anti-deck, which would do piss poor against anything else, anyway. Uh, during the past year, we've seen the rise of some successful themes. Black Wings. I love that they created this archetype. Uh, I, I can't really say anything specific about it. I just, I'm just really fond of them. <laughs> um, Synchro Cat. We got the 2009 starter deck somewhere in the middle of the year. The starter deck gave us X Saber Airbellum, which is really what made Synchro Cat possible in the TCG. People thought Synchro Cat wasn't going to do squat because we were missing a lot of the OCG synchros. Ha! <laughs> Synchro Cat just destroyed while it was running around in full with two rescue cats and two summoner monks. It was just incredible, even without the OCG synchros. Light Swarm finally started winning and taking championship titles. Nobody ever thought that would happen. 
during Gladiator format 2008, Lightshorn were just underwhelming because they were missing a lot of cards. During Teleport Dark Armed Dragon format, Lightsworn was just overshadowed. But now they're finally winning, and that's actually nice to see. Or not so nice, depending on how you view it. The September ban list. Oh my god, this is probably the best yet. It could still be better, but... Let's take what we can get. Dark Strike Fighter and Crush Card Virus are finally banned, and hopefully they never return. Dark Strike Fighter needed to go. It turned every single deck into an OTK deck. Crush Card Virus was basically an auto win button against everything that wasn't built to survive it. And even then, Crush Card Virus gives you so much information that it's nearly impossible to lose after playing it anyway. Solemn Judgment to one was rightfully deserved because it just made all sorts of BS stuff go unopposed. Uh, products. We've gotten a bunch of awesome products this past year. Stardust Overdrive was very nice. Um, Hidden Arsenal was the big thing though. We finally started getting our dual terminal synchros that we've been waiting for for ages. Um, Turbo Pack 1. The replacement for the champion packs that we had under Upper Deck. Turbo Pack 1 was amazing, honestly. Doom Caliber Knight and the ulti Judgment Dragon, really pretty. And the supers and commons were far more relevant to players this time. Gold Series 2. That was a great, great product. Gave us Gold Sarcophagus, Dark Arm Dragon. Really affordable. Um, for once. And other upcoming products for 2010 are just amazing. The card sleeves, the portfolio, Machina Mayhem, Absolute Power Force, more dual terminal stuff is on the way. Starlight Road, Junk Archer, oh man, I'm really looking forward to 2010. It's going to be amazing. It'll beat 2009, guaranteed. I'm confident in that. Oh, well, I guess that's about all I have to say. I improvised most of this, actually. So forgive me if any of that didn't make any sense. Have a happy new year, guys. See you later.